new feature that's amazing that was introduced in macOS Catalina but still continues on in macOS Big Sur is Sidecar. A lot of times we need to extend our display instead of doing split view. So Sidecar is a perfect way to use a touchscreen Mac. Before, you had to use programs like Luna Display that didn't work very well to connect your iPad to your Mac. But now it's so simple because it's built into the foundations of the OS. So there are two ways to connect your iPad to your Mac. You can either use Wi-Fi or cord. I use ethernet for a better connection, but both will work. If you would like to connect your iPad with a cord, plug your iPad into your Mac. That depends if your iPad uses lightning or USB-C. My iPad uses USB-C. So let's take a look. Once it's plugged in, you're gonna need to go to the control center. This is actually a great challenge for you guys that you can try to do. Where is the control center? We talked about it in the macOS Big Sur lecture last time. So if you guys can try to find that and pause this video. Okay, hopefully you found the control center, but if you didn't, no worries. The control center is right here. Control center is your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your AirDrop, screen mirroring, and I'm on a desktop Mac, so you might even have keyboard brightness if you're on a laptop Mac, notebook Mac. So to connect your display, you're gonna see this little icon right here, which is your iPad's display. I'm just gonna go a little bit more in depth by clicking on this arrow to just show you all the different things. So there's also sidecar preferences. So let's go a little bit backwards. Let's go to system preferences. Here's what the sidecar preferences look like. So you can select the device that you'd like to connect to. You can show the touch bar, but it will be giving you less of a display, but it is a little bit of a helpful tool on the bottom, on the top, wherever you would like it best. You can even, even enable double tap on the Apple Pencil if you have one. And you can show the sidebar, which looks like this. And you can customize that as well. You can even have all three on at once, but those two will make your display much smaller. So that's why I leave them unchecked. So let's connect. Here are two ways that we can do it. First, you need to turn your iPad on and it doesn't need to be unlocked, but you might want it to be unlocked, so it's your choice. And you're gonna select the device. I'm gonna select my iPad, and then give right now. And then you're gonna see, you probably can't see it right now, but my mouse is gonna go off the screen onto the iPad screen, which is pretty cool, right? So let's see what it looks like on the sidecar screen. Okay. So we're basically like in a different dimension now, recording on our sidecar screen. So you can see it basically is a Mac screen, but it's on the iPad. You can even have the dock, but what's the point of this? You could just buy a separate monitor instead of buying a thousand dollar iPad, right? So here's a big advantage. You can use a touch screen. In macOS Big Sur, there's a big improvement that you can scroll in on stuff with your fingers. So let's open up maps. And with my fingers, I'm using a Mac. This is a touchscreen Mac. This is so cool. To get even more out of it, your Apple B Pencil becomes its own mouse. This is awesome. So let's move this window around on the iPad. Can even go onto our separate regular Mac screen. Really cool, right? In apps like Notes, you can get even better features like drawing. Unfortunately, there isn't a scribble option, which I know you guys would have liked. If you don't know what scribble is on iPad, let's make actually a lecture about that and I'll teach you guys about what scribble is because scribble is a really cool option. So you can do markup of PDFs. So let's click notes. You can even use the redesign menu bars to navigate through stuff. Let's open up a PDF here. Let's see this flag of India. Um, I'll have to go on my second screen. We can, let's draw, let's make this a little bit more blue. How about that? Make the flag of India a little bit more blue. 
Here we can select the color that we want. For markup, we have to select this option. So now our Apple Pencil just becomes the regular Apple Pencil that you have on your um, regular iPad. So let's change the sketch. Let's see. Can outline the blue circle just to get it even better. But this just doesn't look that good. Let's get rid of it. So to get rid of it, this line is actually just a regular circle now. It fixed it for you. So let's delete all this. So you can just press the delete key to click on this because this is just a file. We can even drag this around and it becomes a perfect circle. An oval, whatever you would like it to be. Really cool, right? So that's Sidecar. I can't wait to see how you guys start using Sidecar to use the most out of your iPads. Here's a bug that might happen. Do you see that black screen? Sometimes the screen will go black like that. Hopefully in a software update in the future, that will be fixed. But it's so cool to see what you guys have been liking. Maybe in the forums, you can post a picture of what you've been doing with Sidecar. And please tell us your feedback on this video.